What's going on, fellas? Man, it's been a good night. It's, it's, it's been a good night, man. Ah, the, the Lakers finally made the finals. I'm just so happy. Yo, yo, comment down below. Who is winning the finals? Who's winning the NBA finals? Comment down below and let me know right now. Let me know who's winning the finals. I got the Lakers in five. I got the Lakers in five. But anyway, let's move on, man. We Here we got the defensive badges for my playmaking shot creator, man. He doesn't get too much. You know, it's a little seven, you know, seven. But this year, y'all guards stop playing around with the defensive badges. Y'all know what it could do. Y'all know how important they are now. I remember last year, every guard was having like one defensive badge and then they didn't want to make another build because they figured they messed up. I was like, yeah, they pretty much twice as important this year than it was last year. You need them now. I think this is the same amount I had on my, my build last year, seven. You know, seven, it could get it done. Seven or eight, get it done, you know. The thing is, I have to switch them pretty often. Now, when I'm playing threes, as you can see, I have tireless defender on silver because I'm doing more running and, you know, the, the court is wider. But when I'm playing twos, I usually run intimidated other than on um, tireless defender because I need to guard my guy. Most of the time, I'm going to be on my guy and I'm going to have to stop him. So even if he goes up on me, I'll still have the intimidator on him to make him miss around the hoop. You know, it's just safety precautions. You know, you don't need to have Tyler's defender on twos that much because you're not doing that much running around. He's just going to go uh, dribble around and try to get a shot off and all that. I got that pick dodger on goal because I feel like I, I feel like strength matters a little bit more this year. You know, one thing I'm going to say about my build is that I wish I made him at least 200 pounds. Not because, you know... Not because of um, whatever, the, the look or whatever, just to have more. I just want to have more strength, you know. If you have less strength, bro, I'm telling you this year, if you run into a, a Hall of Fame uh, brick wall, you're going to be going flying. I went flying twice. I fell twice on a Hall of Fame brick wall. They, it does not feel good because now it forces your center have to pick up on your guard and then he's going to make the shot most times out of 10. So you might might as well have that pig dodger on its highest tier that can go to, which is mine is gold. And you see, I got the clamps on silver. I feel like gold is, you know, you don't really need clamps on gold. As long as you still get that hit riding animation, you'll be straight. And, you know, Tyler's Defender, simple, you know. When you're, I said, when you're running around on threes, you don't lose as much energy. So you can actually do something on offense. Tyler's Defender is just so you could do something on offense. Now, you see, you have to run all these badges. You have to run at least Tyler's Defender, Clamps, or Pig Dodger if you're a guard. Because most times, you know, you're going to be running, you're going to be guarding on ball. Especially if you're playing with like a, maybe a 7 foot center. And you, you're, you know, the lineup is like that. You're going to have to be guarding a guard. Now, you see, when, you know, people that just got this game. Let me, let me, tell you, let me put you on game real quick. If you're gonna make a guard, I would suggest, you know, making him at least 190. If that's the one thing I go back and change my build is the weight. It's the weight because the weight really matters, the strength really matters. You want at least a 50 strength. And you know with gym rat, it'll become a 64 strength. Everybody wants that strength. You know, if you're a bigger build and you got that length, maybe you can go a little bit shorter with no uh a little bit less strength. But even big builds, they still get at least a 60 strength, even if you build, because I'm I'm little, you know. I see everybody making these 6'4", six, 6'3", six, guards, and that's, that's not going to cut it this year. You know, if it can go back to 2K16 ways, it could, but it's not that. You know, you have to have at least a 6'5", building up. You really can't go shorter than 6'5", unless you're going to be playing with a lock that's going to be pressing more every time, but... Every single time, a lot of y'all say, I'm going to be playing with a lock. I'm going to play with a lock down to press ball. I don't want to do that. All the time, think about it. You're going to be playing with a, a lock that's going to be pressing ball every single time you hop on the court play this game. Every single time. You're not is you're not one time going to be stuck in a situation where there's maybe two guards you're going to have to guard. Two guards on the court you have to guard. Think about that. Yeah, so you're going to have to have those defensive badges. And you have to have more than at least three. 
more you have to more than three at least six guys at least six come on now i know y'all want as much shooting badges and playmaking badges you can get but look defense is more important than offense i just said it you know i sacrificed my build to have only one finishing badge so, so i can have seven uh defensive i rather have defensive than finishing because in this game i finish anyway i finish anyway and I have low, I have low finishing stats. You know, I what I have an 80 layer. That's not even pretty low, but I have a 65 dunk. You feel me? So what, what finishing badge is really gonna help me? You know, I'm gonna be mostly taking wide open layups and dunks anyway. But anyway, you know, my build gets a playmaking shot credit. It gets pretty, you know, decent defensive stats. I get maybe a what? A, a, I get a high 70 uh permitted defense. I get a high 70 steals. You know, most of everything is in the high 70s, except the rebound. The rebounding is in the low to mid 60s. And the interior defense, let's not talk about that. You know, I think the most you can go to is like a 50. So I think I left it alone at maybe like a 40 something. Yes. But listen, last year, you everybody had 40 interior defense. You could say that didn't really matter because as long as you had intimidated, you could make. I made even centers miss. You can't tell me that Intimidator wasn't an OP badge. Last year I had um what? My interior defense was like a 50 some max. 64 scoring machine. Stopping 73 centers. Stopping them, contesting them. Even getting you could yo, if stats really mattered, my 50 interior defense wouldn't even make them flinch. It wouldn't do anything. So that's how I know even badges matter some more and now every badges every badges we work revamped and maybe buffed if i have intimidated on gold and go on to the twos or just the ones maybe the 1v1 core i probably win most times off a of center especially if i had i had a rim protector on yes i can stop centers it was that overpowered so these defensive badges are really overpowered they can really boost your defense a lot and y'all don't know that they can really boost your defense to make you a lockdown they can really make you a lockdown guys it, it, i'm telling you even if you have maybe six the most you can get is 10 right 10 but then you have to suffer some uh shooting badges and, or some playmaking badges you know maybe you'll be have like 19 shooting 17 playmaking but you're getting 10 defensive that's really good and I already told y'all the shooting badges you guys need to be elite and just to shoot. It's not really much. All you really need is Hot Zone Hunter and Green Machine and, of course, Range Extender. And maybe Dead Eye on Silver. Maybe that, those are the all the defense. I mean, shooting badges that you need to really be able to shoot good. So, you know, when you're making a guard build, don't forget about this stuff, man. I, my friend, he, he made a build. He made a, a guard build six four two defensive badges or one i don't remember very few i think he had a few i don't know but i told him like yo you're gonna be getting cut because it's the defense system this year is very slidey you guys know the defense is very slidey this year you're gonna need some badges to help you out you know clamps makes you ride the hip of your defender so you can stay at least with him if you didn't have it, you'll be sliding all over the place it will be just cooking you. It just look. It just be a little like he's cooking you because the defensive system is so like slidey. It feels like you're on roller skates most of the time. You know they'll punish you if you reach. They'll send your body flying. That's happened to me before. I reached on a guy. They sent me flying because I guess that's the punishment for reaching. And I, I'm not complaining, but wow, that's really crazy that they could do that. <laughs> Especially defending, you know, it, it drains too much stamina. So you need that tireless defender. It drains too much stamina playing rough defense through screens. So you're going to need that tireless defender. When you get the ball back, eventually after hustling through five, six screens, you're already exhausted. You can't do nothing on offense. So you have to have these badges, man. I do, I'm trying to put you all on game. I'm trying to do what, what they do. I'm trying to tell you why they're important. So, you know, if you're going to be making a, a new build or a garbage, don't forget about that stat. That's very important. I showed y'all my defensive badges what I run on threes and twos. So, you know, if you have any questions, make sure you comment below in the comment section. Make sure you comment below. If you have any questions, I'm going to get back to you as soon as possible. But without further ado, make sure y'all like, 
sub, do all that stuff. If you like the video, leave a like, whatever. And next gen is only a month and a half away. Oh my goodness. We're going to be on that early. I'm going to see y'all later, man. Peace.